Let's set this thing the right way. What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to another video today, ladies and gentlemen. And then today, we're getting fit, baby, and you're getting fit with me. So let's get this thing rocking and rolling. Y'all already know right now I'm training in the AM, which means I'm training in the mornings. For me, I just feel like it works way, way better with my schedule, and I really, really enjoy it because the energy is really, really high. I mean, great. At nighttime, the energy is really, really high too. <clears throat> but it doesn't matter when you train, bro. As long as you train, as long as you're in there getting better, even if it's for 20 minutes, that counts. You know what I'm saying? But let's go ahead and get ready for this chest day, home day. But first, brush your teeth, y'all. I know, I, I know, bro, when I was a kid, you know, I was skipping brushing the teeth, but as an adult, <laughs> you don't get you don't get to swing far past it, bro. The second you open your mouth, you know what I'm saying? You, you gotta brush your teeth, G. Come on. We all know golden rule, brush the teeth. One 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 toothbrush a day keeps the dentist away. Just like that, your teeth are good for the entire day. Unless you eat like six meals a day. Then you gotta brush them a few more times uh, because you know you don't wanna get cavities. Cavities can lead to teeth staining and the dentist trip. And you, bro, just brush your teeth, man, all right? But yo, 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 this lighting, it, it's acting a little different for the video. Lo, yo. I'm enjoying it, I'm enjoying it. Now, for my gym fits guys, they literally vary. I don't I don't like to take my shirt off all the time or my pump cover off all the time in the gym uh, because sometimes I like to just get really focused and keep the shirt on and make, you know, and then whenever the days I take it off, I'm like, ooh, we made, we've made a lot of progress, you know what I'm saying? So, but anyways, today's fit will consist of They will consist of those shorts, this white tank top. So let's go ahead and throw it on. Uh, yes, bro. You gotta enjoy the tank tops, dude. There we go. See? And it's chest day, so whenever I get that pump, I like to pull it down just a little bit. But, should boop. And now we need that pump cover though, bro. Like you can't doubt the pump cover, but we'll put that on the car. I don't wanna put it on just yet. And right now I think the temperature outside, we're, it's, it's like the full time, so, you know, not too cold, not too hot. It feels actually really, really good. But I will say, whenever you're picking your gym fits, guys, it can be a little uncomfortable sometimes uh, if you're not used to wearing clothes like this. But if you do want to start wearing them, I highly recommend just like going to like your, your local store, bro, and they have a ton of these. Like literally, bro, you don't need to buy the $70, $100 freaking muscle shirts, bro. Just buy... Just start, start where you need to start and build up from there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, I think this one was like, what? 10, 15 bucks, you know what I'm saying? But I've got this and then I've got ones that like, you know, muscle shirts that are up there, you know what I'm saying? Point to all that, bro, is wear what you want to the gym, but be confident in what you wear, baby. For some more game, get you one of these guys. And it doesn't even have to be this one. This is an ice roller for your face. Um, it's really really good for your skin tightens up your skin stuff like that So I highly recommend getting one of these they're literally like five to ten bucks I think ten bucks on the nice end five bucks on the what you what you need. You know what I mean? So boom, it's literally an ice roller So it's frozen you freeze it at night or whatever and then you just roll it on your face Just like that I highly highly suggest that you get one and you try it I just think ice rolling is great for you and you could even literally do it with an ice cube. So if you don't want to get the ice roller, put some get some ice cubes and do it in the morning. It's just the ice roller is way quicker um, or they're really both the same speed, but I feel like, you know, having that grip and everything, your hands not freezing and whatnot. Just give it a try, bro. Ice cube or ice roller, give it a try. Another big question that I get is, do you eat before the gym when training in the AM? So do you eat in the gym? Do you eat before the gym if you're training in the morning? And I say no. Um, 
because you know whenever you're waking up in the whenever you're going to the gym in the morning you haven't eaten that means you're still fasting right so breakfast is break fast you're breaking your fast so and there's a lot of studies that that say working out fasted does help burn more calories and you know fat so why not take advantage of that if you're already fasted you know what i mean now if there's time when you get up and you're just starving before the gym by all means go ahead and eat some food but if you really want to take advantage of your fast and you're training in the a.m don't eat until after so you're fasting all through the night and then you're fasting when you get up and through your workout and then you're gonna eat like right around i don't know the 10 11 o'clock mark or even 12 which is fantastic bro and i will say for me personally training fasted has really really helped my body fat um get to where get it to where i want it so to answer that question, if you're training in the AM, try not to eat until after your workout. You know, earn that, you know what I'm saying? But if you're training in the PM, obviously get your meals in for the day. Now that we are all dressed and ready, baby, it's time to get ready for the gym. It's time to get in that mindset. Like I said, it is chest and triceps today. I'm gonna walk you through the entire workout. I do want everyone to understand how to get in the mindset and how to really plan out your gym days so you really like, you get the most out of it. Cause there's a difference between, there's a difference between just going to the gym, right? And just whatever. But there's another difference, there's a, it's a whole nother level, bro. It's a whole nother level when you go to the gym with a plan and you're ready to execute, ready to push, push, push. It makes you pumped, you know what I'm saying? It makes you, ooh, I'm getting pumped already. Cheers. But, uh, bro. But anyways, anyways. Yeah, so it's chest and triceps today. And we're gonna go off of the gain season for this workout. For your info, the gain season is uh, one of the programs that I do offer that I made. It's called gain season, it's a muscle building program. There's gain season that's strictly focusing on bulking and building muscle, but then there's um, lean master, uh, and that focuses on getting shredded. So losing weight and building muscle. You know what I'm saying, Mike? You know what I'm saying, Mike. It might be crazy what I'm about to say. All right. So there's all kinds of chest days in the program, but the one we're gonna do is incline focused because that's one thing I really, really need to build is my in the incline part of my chest, so my upper chest, uh, because it's really easy to build the lower part, like you know the, the round area, but the middle and the upper is the hardest part to build, and that's what we're really chasing on building right now. Uh, because whenever you grow these, according to science, according to science, Whenever you grow your upper chest, everything else grows just with it, right? Versus if you're only lower chest focused, it doesn't help your upper chest, you know? So we're right now for this chest, so for this chest day, we are upper chest focused, and I'm ready to rock and roll. Also, growing that horseshoe baby, growing these triceps along with the chest day, and I'm pumped, bro. So follow along if you'd like, follow along, copy the entire workout. I want you to have the craziest pump ever, because I mean, with this workout, you will bro so a few tips to get into the gym mindset okay because there's there's a lot of like misconception uh not misconception right but like you just gotta want to do it you know so tip number one for getting in the gym mindset bro is know exactly what workout you're doing okay so know exactly which exercises, how many sets per exercise, how many reps, like, and so why that's so important is, is it already gives you a mental frame of okay. So it's chest day and we're focused on incline. So exercise number one will be, you know, incline dumbbell press. Uh, and then we're gonna go into, you know, rope extensions. This is just an example, you know what I'm saying? So my point to that is knowing exactly which exercises you're gonna do will really, 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 really Take your workout to the next level because you're already one step closer to being extremely focused. So step one is know your workout. Have it written out. Get on a workout plan. Write it down on a notebook, bro. Just know exactly what you're gonna do for the workout. I'm telling you that level one or that step one will elevate your workout to 10 times better, okay? Number two, get mentally focused. So what I mean by that is you need, the. if you guys do watch my videos, I gave you the three-step plan on how to be successful in a gym and that's create a goal, create a plan, get to work. So now, 
you need to start, you know, mentally getting focused on that goal. So you have that workout routine, but now I'm doing that workout for this reason. That right there is the, the chocolate on the ice cream, bro, the salt on the burger, bro, the ketchup on the hot dog, whatever you want to call it. Going in there with the workout, step one, and then step two, going in there, you know, mentally focused on the reason why you're getting in there, aka getting better or reaching the body you know you can get. That right there is what will turn your workout into a great session, bro, into like something something that means something to you, you know what I'm saying? So the two steps to really, really have a great workout and to really achieve your fitness goal is Again, number one, always go in knowing the workout because it's super important. And number two, go in there focused on why you're going to the gym. So your plan to your goal can change, but keep the goal the same. Only time your goal should change, guys, is if it's bigger. You know what I'm saying? Um, so those are the two steps that you need to implement to have a fantastic workout and to achieve your goals in the gym or anywhere, really, bro. Like It's a recipe for success. For today's workout, like I told you, it's really incline focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay it out there. Exercise number one is chest and triceps. So we're gonna go tricep, chest, tricep, chest, and then we're gonna finish off with the exercise that works both, okay? So <clears throat> we've got cable straight bar push down for four sets of eight to 12 reps. Then we have incline machine press. So the machine for five sets of eight to 15 reps. Yes, high repetitions. Really, really pushing it. Then we're gonna go into tricep press for four sets of 10 to 15 reps. Then we're gonna go into incline dumbbell press, so another incline press for five sets of eight to 15 reps. And then we're gonna finish off with some push-ups. Yes, push-ups. I know that's not on very many programs, but body weight exercises are like one of the best things you can do to really grow a certain muscle group, like all the calisthenics insane how much you can just build a muscle by doing calisthenics so i'm bringing up calisthenics because that's like a lot of its body weight you know what i mean but the last exercise is push-ups and we're gonna for that we're gonna go 120 reps on that like high right so the goal for the push-ups is to like really push yourself the reason i didn't put you know i could easily put whatever like six sets of 20 reps but i really really want you on that last exercise to push to your limit so if you can do 15 in a row freaking do it and then after that push 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 to whatever you got so that's the goal of working out pushing yourself to new limits all the time so the last exercise is going to be push-ups. That's only five exercises, guys. I know there's a million ways to do it, but trust me, guys, whenever you have the exercises you need and you really push yourself in these exercises, it's all you're gonna need to really push yourself to grow and to achieve a new level. I'm telling you, grab what works and freaking, you know, push it to the limit, create a new standard for it, and you will become a freaking animal, bro, a great. Now it's time to get into the nitty and gritty, baby. Let's get it. So like I said, for exercise number one, we're doing cable straight bar push downs, all right? The way I want you to do them is we're gonna grab it, we're gonna bend over just a little bit, and then keep the elbows tucked in and straight, and then we're gonna extend, boom, just like that. Good repetitions here, y'all. Great repetitions even. Notice how I'm not moving back and forth, no jiggy jiggy. Straight down, straight back up. Four sets, eight to 12 reps, let's go. Let's go baby. This is where the money is, this is where you gotta push it. I love it, let's go. Boom guys. In order to really make your arms get bigger, your triceps have to grow. That's a known fact. Think about it like your triceps are the foundation for your house. So in order to build the house, you need a, a, good, a great foundation, right? So we gotta build these triceps bigger for room for the bicep to grow. Beautiful. And then we're gonna push for more, baby. Push it. I love it, bye. Literally off of that first exercise, triceps are already pumping that's that's what I mean by it. it totally matters about how much effort you're putting into an exercise baby now incline chest press let's go all right so we want to come here we want to scoot our butt to the edge of the seat and then rooster chest so big chest up okay and then we're gonna come closer in boom really focus on the squeeze 
of your upper chest. Just like that, mate. Just like that, mate. Give it a good squeeze right at the top. I like to give it a good squeeze because the contraction goes crazy. And then around those last reps, we bust them out. Ooh, that's perfect. That's perfect right there, mate. Again, come right about 90 or a little bit past 90, then explode right up with a good squeeze at the top for great contraction. Right there. That's what I'm talking about. Chest is already pumping. The reason we're scooting up our butt to the edge of the seat and peacocking the chest is because I feel like it gives a way better contraction and a way better focus just to that upper chest. So we're here, boom, versus here. You know what I'm saying? You can just see the flex more in the upper chest. Whenever you're picking what weight to go with, it's okay if you're not going crazy weight. Goal is to get contraction and great repetitions, okay? So if you're doing 20, bro, that better be the best 20 you're given. You know what I'm saying? If you're doing 100, you better have great control of it. No weird reps around here, bro. Just like that, Mike. Don't ever cheat yourself. That's extremely important. Because when you're lifting really heavy, you got to be real careful because injuries are a given when training half fit heavy. So if you need to lighten the weight to push more, do it. For exercise number three, remember tricep chest, tricep chest together after that. We're gonna do tricep chest press. There's a million kinds of variation, but this is one of the best. So we're gonna come here, but this is one of my favorites. So we're just gonna come here, the weight's on the back. We're gonna come right here and just push. You weight are about like this, you know, acute angle. Then we're gonna just straighten them out. Good squeeze, great contraction right there. Just like that. And then what I love about this machine is you can literally, it's free weight, so you can add as many plates and things like that. Instead of like the machine machines, it's like sometimes if it's like rusty, then it moves weird, but with free weights, as long as the weight ain't, you just put it on and that's the exact weight it is. There's no weirdness in the movement. It's just straight up and down, just like that. Boom, boom. And then guys, like I said on these last reps, this one you really wanna, really wanna push it hard, Mike. Go, go. Man, the pump, the pump is insane right now. It's crazy, no joke. Whew. The goal of the contraction is it really helps build, I like to call it the T-bone stake of the tricep. It really helps it build it up, guys. So that's why contraction is extremely, extremely important because the effort you put in is the muscle you get out. And I'm not even joking. Boom, okay? So press, press, press. Really, really push yourselves in every exercise, y'all. Ooh, let's go, let's go, let's go. Harder, more, more, mate. Let's go. It's fun. I talk in different accents sometimes. Oh. That was a fantastic set, baby. After hitting that insane exercise, now we're moving into another inclined chest exercise, inclined dumbbell chest press, okay? So on this, when coming down, we don't want to go past the shoulders. We can strain the shoulders like that. We want to keep these shoulders healthy. So right about 90, if you're a little risque, go a little right there, just a little bit more, and then explode right back up, okay? Don't straighten your elbows, bro. We're going to keep them basically obtuse. So up, 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 boom, boom. Just like that. Keep the motion going. Push yourself here and keep the motion going, baby. She flowing like the ocean. Pause. All right, let's go. Boom, boom. 
and really contract your chest, guys. Focus on that upper chest flexing. The reason it's so important to pick the right weight, guys, is because the right weight will make or break your workout, okay? Obviously, you want to be pushing yourself all the time, but the goal is to get amazing repetitions out of the exercise to really push the muscle to the next level. If you ever feel just like not confident in the gym, bro, you've just got to like, easier said than done, obviously. You just got to believe in yourself, bro. Like, I believe in you. You know what I mean? I know you can hit every single one of your goals, but I also know that you have to put in the effort to achieve those goals, bro. You know, so if you're looking for that boost of confidence, bro, I believe in you. You can do it. We just got to start, start moving the, start, start pressing the gas, baby. That's all it takes. All it takes is that first step. Everything else after that falls into place, baby. Ooh, ooh. And as you can see, we're going a little bit lighter on the weight today. We're going a little bit lighter on the weight, but we are going for way more reps. And then there will be times where I push the weight and we'll go for like eight to 10. The goal is always 10. I don't like aiming for five. I like aiming for 10. Ugh. Let's go check this pump out, bro. It's insane. Let's get some posing in because the pump feels immaculate. Boom. So, boom. Got to control the face. There we go. Right now, the weight, I'm staying on the fairly lean side. So the weight right now is definitely, I'd say in the 200 ishes. I'd have to check. But 190 would definitely be where I want to be for this, for this big shred, so. Not gonna lie, like, whenever you're posing, well, that literally shows you where, you know, you need to be up in the exercises or up in the weight. But with bodybuilding, guys, it is a marathon and not a sprint. You push it every single day, in the gym, out of the gym, diet, cheat days, every day. We're pushing for greatness, baby. We're aiming for gold, baby. Aiming for gold or platinum. What's better? Whatever's better than gold. That's what we're aiming for. Now let's get into our push-ups. Yo, body weight exercises like they've been kind of like pushed out of the bodybuilding scene. Obviously, you want to get the most out of the weights, but psh, bro, body weight exercises are insane, especially at the end of your workout. Whenever you're just giving it your all, baby. Now these push-ups will test your limit because, like I said. You, want, you don't want to go for whatever, six sets of 20. No, we want to go as hard as possible. Let's go, come on. I'm aiming for 120 straight, I'm not joking. Ooh, let's go. Ten. Twenty. Thirty. 40. The pain zone, baby. This is where we want to be. This is where we want to be. Let's go. Fifty. Fifty. Come on. Oh, shoot. Woo. That's 50 straight, boys. We got 70 more to go. So when we're doing our push-ups, we're not doing no sissy push-ups halfway, no, no. We want the full extension down, up. Even when you're pushing to your hardest, go for the full rep. All right, that was, that one counted, by the way, 51. 
60. Uh, 70. Let's go. Eighty. Oh, ninety. That's ninety, bro. Come on. This is this where you want to be, baby. This is growth. Come on. Uh, Ninety-three. Woo. When you're doing your push-ups, try to keep it under the break, rest break, under two minutes. All right, and then get back on it because we really want to push these muscles to the max. 100. Mm. 110. <sighs> I know I said 120, but since we, the last one stopped at 110, we're just gonna go for everything we got, everything. Even if it's, so if it's more than 120, it's more than 120. This is everything. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh. Seven, eight, nine, ten. That's what I'm talking about. Workout check, bro. Those push-ups were absolutely amazing, dude. Highly recommend you push yourself to the limit with, with push-ups. Because when you push the limit for the first time, then you're like, okay, that's the number I got to beat, etc. Next up, we're doing cardio, 30 minutes on incline treadmill. Incline 10, 2 to 3 speed. That burns like 1 to 200 calories, depending on your speed. Great calorie burner. And I told you, time to get shredded. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That workout was intense, bro. I told you. All we did was five exercises, right? Plus some cardio, plus some cardio and push it, putting an effort in every single one of those sets and every single one of those reps. That workout was phenomenal. The pump was phenomenal. And guess what? Anyone can do it as long as you, whoa, going, knowing what you're doing, getting mentally focused on the goal and crushing it, baby. That's how you get it done. But workout 10 out of 10, must try again, will try again. Make sure you're staying hydrated, fellas. Another important tip, whenever I say set your goal to get mentally focused in the gym, is like you wanna get extremely specific about it, right? So let's say like your goal is to lose weight. Uh, obviously your plan is, you know, your core cardio workout, but then your mental focus should be, let's lose these 20 pounds, let's lose these 20 pounds. Or if you're building muscle, right? We gotta be like, you know, you're on your, you know, weightlifting uh, workout for the day. You got to be like, I'm trying to make my shoulders bigger. I want to, I want a freaking 12 pack. I want a bigger chest, etc., etc. So, that's what I mean by getting mentally dialed in. And the more specific you are, literally, the more focused you will be on hitting that goal. You know what I'm saying? So, the more focused you'll be on your reps, on your sets. And guys, this is not only for the gym. You know what I mean? If you have a goal outside of the gym, create a plan, get mentally focused, and get to work, bro, and it, it can be achieved, like no joke. But that is it for today's video, ladies and gentlemen. I really, really do hope you did enjoy it. You know, uh, if you're new here, give me a thumbs up and subscribe, baby. If you're old here, uh, give me a thumbs up. I would really, really appreciate it. Comment down below what you want to see next. I would. I always appreciate when you guys comment, when you guys tune in. I love it. I genuinely do. And the quote of the video is, raise the bar. I don't do limits. Okay? So always think limitless. For real, guys. So if there's something you need to do and you know you need to raise the bar for it, raise it. Never limit yourself. Keep raising that bar and make yourself exponential in every single area. So raise the bar. I don't do limits. See you guys in the next video. Let's go.